welcome back to another video so in this video i'll be covering uh, the design and analysis of micro strip patch antenna so basically while designing this micro strip patch antenna and uh, we follow a traditional design like rectangular patch we have few set of equations to start with so in this video i'll be covering a detailed explanation of these uh, design equations and i will be showing you uh, a basic uh, uh, equation solved a micro strip antenna for 5 gigahertz how can we can solve that uh, equations for 5 gigahertz uh, micro strip antenna so without any further delay let's get started so first of all uh, before uh, going for a micro strip patch antenna design we have a set of prerequests so the first one is that you can see here the first one is that i choose the frequency i consider the frequency as f naught so whenever we design an antenna so we need to have a frequency for example i want to design a micro strip antenna so i mean micro strip antenna for bluetooth application so the bluetooth we know the ism band 2.4 gigahertz so definitely uh, that frequency is the first thing sele selection of frequency so f is equal to a uh, 2.4 gigahertz so if you go for any other like a uh, 5 gigahertz bandwidth uh, maybe the application is for that particular i mean frequency then the frequency f naught is equal to 5 gigahertz so before uh, designing any antenna so we need to choose the frequency of application so that's the first step so i got the frequency for example i am going to design an antenna for 5 gigahertz since the wi-fi also works on this uh, 5 gigahertz frequency okay so fine that's what and once we have the uh, frequency uh, selection the next step is that choose uh, this uh, substrate material so we know that uh, the micro strip antenna is fabricated later after the design so with respect to the substrate the availability of the substrate the cost of the substrate then only we can go for the fabrication so substrate is one important criteria like simulation we don't want to take in care of these kind of uh, parameters but when we convert this uh, simulated result and we go for fabrication then this become an issue uh, we can't be able to choose any material that available in the library so basically we choose this fr4 that flame resistant material type 4 that is your normal pcb material and people will use this uh, roger material so which is quite expensive as compared with this fr4 so basically most of the antennas we use this uh, fr4 material so roger we have many types are there like 5800 i mean 5880 then 6002 these are the different roger material which is having uh, the refract uh, epsilon value as 2.2 or 2.3 and the thickness is in very very small mm kind so this fr4 basically we use the thickness as 1.6 also that we'll discuss later okay so that is the fourth point once you choose a material that is fr4 the standard value is 1.6 but we have different uh, thickness level of the substrate that is also available so that we need to check then uh, relative permittivity of the substrate that means if i choose this fr4 as the material we have a constant that is a relative permittivity value which is constant for each material so this is around 4.3 for this fr4 and this has an impact on the antenna performance also because uh, when we go for this roger kind of material the epsilon value is around 2.2 okay so once we do the design and see the comparison then we will get to know that what is the impact of the i mean epsilon r value of each material and also the thickness of each material uh, while designing the micro strip antenna so so these are the prerequisites before we get into the designs of a uh, micro strip antenna so hope you understand this and uh, we'll go for the next phase so uh, in order to design as you can see that this is the structure of the micro strip antenna that is shown here and uh, we we have three different layers we have a ground layer that is in the bottom side and on top of the ground we place this substrate and also uh, in the finally uh, we will place this patch material so i shown uh, this patch material and this uh, ground material as same color since both having same material both having same material so i most of the people basically use as copper 
as these two material and the substrate as i told you uh, here we are going to use this fr4 material okay and this uh, fr4 is having a thickness of 1.6 and this copper layer that is your patch and as well as your ground will be having a thickness level of around 0.035 mm and all dimensions are in mm so these are the basic details that we uh, we use for the design of this micro strip antenna and uh, we need to find out the patch length this is the length of the patch we since we use this uh, rectangle uh, rectangular kind of patch so this is the length of the patch and i consider this is the width of the patch so these two values we need to find out and uh, accordingly we will choose uh, in order to hold this patch and length of uh, i mean width and length of this patch we will choose accordingly the length and uh, width of the substrate as well as the ground so the first uh, step is to find out uh, this width of the patch as well as the length of the patch so uh, at the remaining session of the video we will be discussing with, uh, what are the different equations used to find out uh, this width and length of the patch so uh, as you can see this is i consider w uh, which indicates uh, the width of the patch and the equation is given over here so w is equal to c by uh, 2 f naught f is your frequency selection of frequency if you are going to design an antenna for 5 gigahertz you can give here 5 gigahertz and f naught is equal to 5 gigahertz so it's 2 into f naught root of epsilon r plus 1 by 2 and this epsilon r is nothing but uh, the relative permittivity of the substrate you choose so your free substrate is fr4 consider uh, then that is around 4.3 so substituting uh, one more thing this one c c is nothing but the speed of the light so speed of the light is 10 into i mean 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second so that value also you need to substitute so and in this we have three variables c f naught and epsilon and we know all the values already uh, by choosing the proper material and the frequency substitute all these values and we can able to find out the width of the patch which is in mm millimeter okay so, uh, so that's the first step and then we need to go for uh, go for the uh, design equation i mean uh, equation to find out the length of the patch so uh, so in order to find out the length of the patch we have an equation uh, that is l equal to okay length of the patch l equal to l effective that is effective length uh, minus 2 del l okay this is fractional length 2 del l so but we don't know the value of l effective and also we don't know uh, the value of this uh, del l also okay so we need to find out these two variables separately okay so in order to find out l effective we have an equation so in order to find out this effective length l effective uh, we have an equation that is c divided by 2f naught root of epsilon effective so we know c is nothing but speed of the light so 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second and f naught is some, something we know the frequency that is 5 gigahertz and epsilon effective so this value we don't know okay so we need to find out epsilon effective so in order to find out the epsilon effective that is effective uh, uh, permittivity we have an equation that is epsilon r plus 1 by 2 plus epsilon r minus 1 by 2 into 1 plus 12 into h by w the whole power minus 1 by 2 so we can substitute over here epsilon r is nothing but uh, the uh, relative permittivity of the substrate since we use this fr4 so this is around 4.3 and the same value over here also epsilon r and h is nothing but the height of the substrate which is 1.6 here i am using so that also we know which is a prerequisite and the width of the uh, w is nothing but just now we find out the width of the patch so the same value we need to substitute over here also okay in mm and all divided by minus 1 by 2 by substituting all the values we can able to find out this epsilon effective value and now we need to substitute the epsilon effective value over here then we can able to find out this uh, l effective value 
and the final thing is that you need to find out the other variable that is del l value so that is the extension length so del l is equal to 0.412 h into epsilon effective plus 0.3 into w by h plus 0.265 the whole divided by epsilon effective minus 0.256 i mean 2 pi 8 into w by h plus 0.8 so in this equation we already know the value of epsilon effective that we calculated just just before substitute the value of epsilon effective and uh, w is nothing but the width of the patch that we already find out in the first step and h is nothing but the length of uh, your uh, substrate that is 1.6 mm so while substituting all these value we can able to find out uh, the extension length del l while knowing this uh, extension length del l and the l effective value we have the final equation for l by substituting this l effective and del l we can find out the value of l so now we found w and l of the patch so then we can easily uh, find out the substrate now in order to accommodate this particular length and width of the patch we need to find out the length and uh, width of the substrate also because patch is a smaller material and the substrate and ground is bigger than the patch so that we can choose the dimensions of this w uh, yes that is width of this uh, substrate and length of this substrate accordingly so here we have an equation in order to find out the length of the substrate the equation is 6h plus l so h is nothing but the thickness of the substrate that is 1.6 mm and l is just now we found out this l value substitute that okay so we got a little bit larger value as compared to this l obviously and uh, the width of the substrate the equation is 6h plus w w is the width of the patch just we found it found out and uh, this h is the uh, substrate height that is 1.6 so we got all the design equations so this is how we finding out the different values of um, micro strip antenna for a rectangular micro strip patch antenna so now i will show you a practical example for this particular design for 5 gigahertz okay so now you can see that uh, now i'm using uh, one second okay so uh, in this uh, uh, in example that i can show that f naught is nothing but 5 gigahertz so this 5 gigahertz is uh, the frequency that i chose based upon the application so in this 5 gigahertz i converted 5 gigahertz in terms of hertz so it become 5 into uh, 10 power 9 okay so just converted into hertz basic unit and because since i am using all units are uh, mm uh, this frequency is also converted to hertz now second variable is that uh, uh, your uh, speed of the light that is c so 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second and and we know the fr4 is a substrate we choose and the default height of the substrate is 1.6 mm and epsilon r that is the relative permittivity of the substrate that is a fr4 and that also we know that is 4.3 okay now as per the equation we have width of the patch that is w so here in this uh, equation c by 2f naught epsilon r plus 1 by 2 so i am substituting the c value that is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second then 2 into the 5 gigahertz that is 5 into 10 power 9 and into uh, root of uh, epsilon r that is 4.3 plus 1 by 2 so by solving the equations i am getting around 0 0.01840 that is uh, converted into mm so if we got this value as w that is the width of the patch okay and uh, this can be rounded it off to uh, 18 mm basically uh, and 
Uh, the next step is uh, epsilon effect t value i'm finding out so epsilon r plus in this equation i'm substituting epsilon r is equal to 4.3 so i'm substituting epsilon r value then h value i'm substituting as 1.6 and this 18.40 value i substituted here that is w and finding out we got the value of epsilon effective as uh, uh, 3.80 okay and next step is that L effective. So L effective is equal to the equation is here. Uh, in this equation, I am substituting C is equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. 2 into F naught is 5 gigahertz. So that is 5 into 10 power 9. And the root of epsilon effective that is just substituting this epsilon effective value here root of 3.80. And we are getting the L effective value as 15.39 mm and the next step is to find out the extension length that is del l and the equation is given here so in this equation i am substituting uh, this 4 point, uh, 0 0.41 to h h is 1.6 so we are getting this value and substituting this epsilon effective value that is 3.8 which is available in the previous equation and uh, w by h that is width by uh, height of the substrate uh, that already we know we are finding out all w equation also substituting all the equations we got uh, 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 the uh, extension length as uh, 0 0.7298 mm so now i am substituting this uh, del l value and also this L effective value substituting here this is L effective value and 2 into this is the del L value so we got the length L, equal, L of the patch is equal to 13.93 so that is the value 13.93 I can take it as 13 so uh, W of the width of the patch I got as 18 and the length of the patch I got it as 13 okay and now uh, that is rounded off value 13 not 13 it's 14 because 13.93 uh, okay 14 and now you can see that in order to uh, uh, accommodate the patch we need to have a particular substrate length and width so substituting the equation h value here and l value here that is 13.93 and 6 into 1.6 we got 23.5 i can take it as 24 mm as the length of the substrate and to find out the width of the substrate i am substituting the h value and the width value over here and it's around 28 mm so uh, if i draw the design we can see that the substrate is here this is the substrate and definitely the patch is smaller than that so in this uh, the length of the uh, patch is around 14 and the length of the width of the patch is 18 and the designed find the equation uh, like uh, the designed equation for the substrate uh, the, the value is around 24 as the length and 28 as the width so this is the final equation for this antenna which carries uh, 4 point i mean 5 gigahertz hope this video can be helpful for you to start the micro strip antenna so in this video uh, if you like this video uh, or if any 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 help requiring the design any sessions you need to be handled in your college through online session or offline sessions so you can contact me so my email id is rahul krish 1990 at gmail.com and you can call me at 8072412362 Thank you, thank you for watching and we'll be having a practical design of this antenna in the upcoming section. Thank you so much.